violently attacked in her courtroom by a man being sentenced. Aaron Katursky is back with this story. Good morning again, Aaron. And good morning again to you, Michael. The judge was overseeing what should have been a routine sentencing when out of nowhere the defendant jumped the bench and lunged for the judge. The Overnight, a judge attacked in a Nevada courtroom. Hey. Oh, 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 hey. Hey. Chaos erupting moments after what appeared to be a calm sentencing. Deobra Redden, a repeat offender, had pleaded guilty to attempted battery with substantial bodily harm, but argued to Judge Mary Kay Hothis he did not deserve another trip to prison. The judge reminded Redden of his lengthy criminal record. Three felonies, a gross, nine misdemeanors, multiple DVs. Got a lot going on, sir. Still, he asked for leniency. But the judge denied his request for probation. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he get a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court. Oh, Moments later, Redden leapt over the defense table and the bench, landed on top of the judge, and sparked a brawl with court officers and attorneys. Courthouse officials telling ABC News, Judge Hothis experienced some injuries and her condition is being monitored. The marshal sustained injuries and has been transported to the hospital. This, this video, sadly, is, is a great example of how vulnerable judges are. If they would have had any information that he was going to do something this outrageous and violent, they either would have restrained him It's the heart-stopping video the whole country is talking about. A defendant taking a flying leap and attacking a judge. Today, that defendant was scheduled to be back in court to face additional charges, but at the last minute came a major change in plans. The out-of-control defendant who made a flying leap over the bench refused to appear in court today. Our Stacey Galandi is at the courthouse. Officials tell Inside Edition that the defendant flat out refused to make the walk through the tunnel system that links the courthouse to the jail where he's being held. There's another hearing scheduled for next Tuesday. I think everybody would agree. Hey guys, if you're living in Ontario and drowning in debt, listen up. You don't need to struggle anymore. Mr. Redden, is there anything you want to say on your own behalf before I pronounce sentence? Um, so basically, I would like to tell the folks who are here, like, we're going to be doing this for a Have you looked at your criminal history? Um, Have you looked at your criminal history? I actually just, um, I look at it. And, yeah. I mean, you lived it, I suppose. Uh, I just looked at it, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Three felonies, a gross, nine misdemeanors, multiple DVs. Got a lot going on, sir. Yeah. Um, I, I just heard, like, Battery on a protected person, robberies. Attempt home invasion. Go ahead, I'm sorry to mean to interrupt you. I was just... I, I just figured, like, you know, I'm, I'm in a better place in my mind, in my mental health. My, I have a support system. I just got hired as a teamster for, you know, the union, you know, making three dollars an hour. And, like, the, the reason behind every single domestic violence, I've been dealing with mental health, and I didn't know that I was dealing with mental health. And they put me on mental health court, and I still didn't know that I had a mental health problem. And so it was August 2022 when I realized I had a problem with this. And like having a dictionary and like understanding myself, they know myself a little better, and, and, and applying it to my personality and, and, and having them hit me at, at that moment in those instances, and just like trying to learn from my mistakes, you know? And I, I feel like I shouldn't be sent to prison. But if it's appropriate for you, then you have to do what you have to do. But I figure that you know, if I'm in a better place in my life, I'm not doing drugs, I'm not, you know, I'm not after committing crimes now, you know, and, and I feel like I should be given a shot.
I appreciate that, but I think it's time that you get a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court. Oh, Thank you. 